Brother, what is going on? It's John Gap here, and I help people master their mindset. I think I'm gonna bring that back to the channel. For you guys that were the OG viewers, I used to always start off my videos by saying that. What's going on? It's John Gap here, and I help people master their mindset. Until this day, that's exactly what I help people do. Anyway, so I was thinking today, what am I going to make my YouTube video about? And then I came up with the idea. The idea for today's YouTube video is I'm gonna sit down and talk to you brothers, talk to you watching this right now, as if I'm just chatting to one of my good friends, or as I call them, one of my brothers. There's nothing more powerful I found in my life to level up than speaking to one of my brothers. Right now I live in Thailand with my brother Tyrell. Most mornings we go downstairs, we chat, we have a coffee, and we just level up in these conversations, man. When I'm chilling with my brother Alessandro in Mexico, Tulum, we level up. When I'm back in London and with my boy Sharif or Ishan, we level up. You know what I'm saying to you guys? I got, I got brothers. I don't have friends, I have brothers. And the connection I have with my brothers is deep. So, I don't know where this conversation is going to go. I just know and I feel it's gonna be a sick video. So just chill with me and let's chat. I'm gonna drink my coffee as well. and just talk about whatever comes to my mind, bro. So the first thing I'm gonna start talking about is manifestation, bro. Manifestation. This is, a, this is something I've, I've truly lived by in my life and implemented into my life ever since I became aware of these things. Once I realized that my thoughts and my feelings would determine what kind of reality I created for myself, I started to obsess about that. I started to obsess about controlling my thoughts mastering my emotions, using visualization, meditation, all of these things, right, hypnotherapy. And hand on my heart, I can say that understanding the power of my mind, understanding the power of manifestation has truly allowed me to create the life I once dreamed of. I was only the other day coaching in one of the communities I coach in and I was telling them and reading out one of my old visions. And this old vision that I wrote down is in exact detail to the life I'm living now. Exact detail. There's a few things that are currently on their way, but like 90% of it is true. 90% of it, right? And the other things are unfolding. And I wrote that vision down in 2020. In 2020, I believe, I believe I was working in a supermarket these times, or maybe I was just leaving. Either way, I was not living the life I live now, where I'm free financially, location free, time free. And as I always say, brothers, the most important one that most people neglect, yeah, it doesn't even get mentioned, you know what it is? Freedom of the mind, brother. Freedom of the mind, bro. If I gave you right now, financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom, and you're staying in a penthouse in, in Miami, you got all the money coming in, but you still got those negative thoughts looping around in your mind, bro. You still got those negative habits, those little doubts, those fears, those insecurities, bro. Are you really successful, my bro? No, you're not. Freedom of the mind is the key, bro. Without a mind, without having a mind that is free, you will never be free, brother. How do you attain freedom in the mind? Well, it's very simple. You build a relationship with yourself. You connect to yourself. You meditate. You impress into the mind, specifically the subconscious mind, the thoughts, the emotions, and the actions that you want. This is the, sh the easiest and the most effective way to live the life you truly, truly, truly dream of, bro. There is no other way. Your subconscious mind will always drive your reality. It will always bring to you that which it wants. It doesn't matter what you want. Whatever you've impressed into your subconscious mind in the past, which is now a belief or a habit or a story, you will always get that back. Always. So you have to find ways, brother, to free up your mind, bro. What do you want, truly? What do you truly want? And again, I'm not talking about some materialistic things here, brother. Make 10,000 a month. Make 100,000 a month. Travel, these are all surface level, bro. More importantly, who do you want to be? 
Who do you want to be, brother? One of the key things that I teach inside of brotherhood, man, is this. You, your, your main goal every single day is to be the best version of yourself who operates from the highest frequency, right? Who's being true to himself, his values. That is the key, bro. Because if you just work on being the best, best, best fucking version of yourself, who is aligned with his values, aligned with his habits, you're always going to feel fucking good. Right? No matter what happens externally, because here's the reality, brother. You can't control the external. You can't control how much money you make in one given month. You can't control what shape you look in. You can't control the type of relationships that you have, but you can control being the best version of you. Right? And the best version of you is going to be proactive in the approach to changing the things externally that you don't really have control over. But it's not about the external. It's your perception of that. And your perception of the world is simply going to be a reflection of how you perceive yourself. How you perceive yourself, how you view yourself is how you're going to show up in the world. So external things, like I said, making money, being in a certain shape, you can't control that directly, but you can control the cause to the effect. Do you understand, bro? You are the cause. The effect is the external world, bro. So you change the cause, the effect will naturally change. And again, we detach from the external, bro. We detach from the effect. Because if I put energy on an effect, like I let that determine how I feel, bro. I'm lost, bro. I've lost. Do you know how many guys I've met yet who put their self-worth, right? And how they are respected and how they validate themselves on external things, bro. You will always feel empty if you do this. I've done that before, brother. I've been there. I thought traveling the world, making money, whatever else would make me feel good, but it never did. Why? I didn't validate myself. And because I didn't validate myself, I didn't operate from my higher self, bro. If you want to boil it down to the simplest, simplest form of the goal for every single person on this earth, what they're trying to accomplish, real simply, bro, they are trying to love themselves. If you don't want to use the word love, because I understand, I used to be in that position as well. I was like, love is for fucking weak men and girls, bro. I ain't involved in that word. You can use the word respect, right? But if you really break it down, we have two core emotions. We have love and we have fear. If you operate from love, you're operating from abundance, gratitude, joy, happiness, confidence, right? If you operate from fear, you're operating from lack unworthiness, doubts, fears, insecurities. Now, brother, again, you might even sit there and say to me, yeah, John, but, but if I start operating from love, I fear I'm going to slow down. All right then, bro, tell me this then. If you have a son and you love your son, are you going to want the best for him? Are you going to want him to eat healthy? Are you going to want him to work out and be fit and in shape? Are you going to want him to become a millionaire and be financially free? Are you going to want him to attract the best people into his life? Are you going to want him to have good habits? Of course you will, brother. Why? Because you fucking love him. So what happens if you start to love yourself, I wonder? Well, you start to respect yourself more. You start to do the things that you know you need to do. Hey, brother, look, I don't really want to go to the gym today, but I fucking love you, bro. So we're going to go to the gym today. Hey, brother, I know you might want to eat that shit food today, but brother, I love you, man. So we ain't going to eat that shit food today. Hey, brother, I love you, man. So let's have good habits that empower us, that serve us, that take us to the next level in our life. The man who does not love himself, the man who does not like himself is the exact reason why he goes against himself. Because you are going to act in alignment with how you see and feel about yourself, brother. That is it. That is it. If you look at the self-concept, it's made up of three things. Self-ideal, self-esteem and the self-image. Self-ideal is the best version of yourself you can envision in your mind, right? The self-esteem is how you feel about yourself. And then the self-image is how you view yourself, how you see yourself. The man with a healthy self-esteem, a, a healthy self-ideal, and a healthy self-image will always, 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 always win against the man that doesn't have a healthy self-ideal, healthy self-image, and a healthy self-esteem. It's facts. I'm spitting fire right now, brothers. This content is only for real ones, real talk. Because the fucking fakes, 
The ones that say they're committed that aren't actually committed and they're just interested, they won't resonate with this fucking frequency I'm on. They won't resonate with the message I'm putting out right now. They won't feel this fucking realness I'm saying to you guys right now. Do you realize, bro, this, this life you're living, this external reality you live, is nothing but a mirror reflection of who you are, bro? Most people are operating from this. They're going out into this world and they're like, yeah, let me do more. Let me do more. Let me do more. Why? Why are you just doing more, brother? It's not about doing more. It's about being more. Being the higher version of yourself is an internal game. If I said to you right now, yeah, get into a state of feeling bad, feeling uncertain, unconfident, doubts, worries, get into that state, how would you even be sitting? Already hunched over, worried, right? Go out into the world and try and accomplish your goals from that state. Versus I say to you, brother, feel confident, feel proud, feel respect, feel strong, feel love. Now go out into the world and try and accomplish your goals. Who's gonna accomplish more, my bro? The second guy. Being, being, doing, having. The more you be, the more you will do, the more you will have. If you just operate on doing, bro, if you just operate on doing, 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 you're always gonna hit roadblocks, man. Because why? Because when you're doing something, you're trying to do it to validate yourself. You're trying to do it to fill a fucking void, my bro. You're trying to do it to fill a void. Let me read this out to you. I read this quote today, actually. It was fire. It said this, right? If you are doing something primarily for money and without a real emotional commitment, it will translate into something that lacks a soul and that has no connection to you. You may not see this, but you can be sure that the public will feel it and that they will receive your work in the same luckluster spirit it was created in. Any guy can go out there, bro, and, and fucking market their product and sell it and make money. But it takes a real man, yeah, to fucking step into their higher self every day and operate from their highest values, the habits they love, and, and they know is gonna bring them to their higher self. I've met so many successful guys, yeah, millionaires in Dubai, bro. They were not successful, my bro, I'm telling you right now. They were not successful, bro. They tell me they wanna be in shape, but they got, they, they're fat. They tell me they wanna be in shape, but they're skinny. They tell me that they wanna have better habits, they're waking up at 10 in the morning. Are they successful, bro? No. Success is a holistic approach, my brother. Being successful is not just one thing. You can't just fucking make money and be like, I'm successful. You can't just get jacked and say, I am successful. In fact, you can't have both of those things and say you're successful. Because I know other guys who have both, but they're still operating out of desire. They're still operating from need. Oh man, I, I need to make more money. I, I, I need to grow my business. Why? Because you don't validate yourself, my bro. You don't love yourself, so answer this question. If you don't love yourself, right, why? Why are you lying to yourself? You're doing something. There's something you haven't uncovered. There's something you're running away from, bro. That's a fact. So many guys operate from desire. Weak, bro, weak. You can't give to the world that which you do not experience and have within yourself, brother. So again, we use the example. I love this one because it's my, one of my biggest visions for my life is when I have my fucking son and my children and my wife, bro. If I'm operating from desire around my kids or my wife, you think I'm gonna be able to give them love? No, brother, you can't give that which you are not experiencing. It's a transfer of energy. I can't get you to feel something I don't feel or experience. So this is why the main goal is to operate from love. Anyone that tries telling me, nah, bro, I'm wrong on this. Nah, brother, I'm right on this one. Like the point I just proved. You can't give that which you do not want, that which, that which you do not experience in yourself. So if you don't want to have, be able to give love to your family, then cool, operate from desire, brother. Operate from desire. Now, am I saying you should never operate from desire? Yes, I am saying that. Because you shouldn't operate from it. You should tap into it. You should become aware of the thing you want, but then you operate from love and higher frequency, brother. That is it. You use these things as tools and be like, okay, cool. You could even be operating from anger. The lower emotions, you can, you can, sorry, not operate, you can tap into them. Anger, pride, yeah? Even shame and guilt if you want, bro. But don't, do not operate from them. Like I said, the guy who's operating from love versus the guy who's operating out of shame and guilt, my bro, the guy operating out of love is gonna win every single time. He feels deserving, he feels worthy, he feels good enough. 
I always get asked this question as well, right? This is a great, great point I get put across to me. Alex Omozi, one of my greatest mentors, respect the guy, love the guy. But one thing I do not agree with Alex Omozi on, he says, you do not get confidence by screaming affirmations in the mirror and telling yourself. You go out there and you get evidence. And with the evidence, then you start to have confidence in yourself. But I ask this question. Well, how much more evidence do you need, brother? Are you even clear what success looks like to you? Because I can guarantee you right now, yeah, I can give you 10 reasons why you're successful. Doesn't a successful person watch videos to improve their life? Doesn't a, success a successful person have dreams and goals of becoming better? Doesn't a successful person invest into themselves? Doesn't a successful person try to improve their life? You get my point, I'm not gonna list that all 10 right now, I don't know you personally, but here's the point I'm trying to make. You already have evidence, bro. You already have evidence. If you start to look for the evidence, you will find it, it will reinforce your identity, that will make you take more action. I'm not disputing the fact that taking action and doing is a vital part of the equation to succeed and becoming and achieving everything you ever wanted. But what I am saying is this, the foundation is your identity, my bro. Why do so many people start taking action, right? They start taking action, but they're inconsistent. They stop. They say, I lack discipline. I lack consistency. I lack focus. No, my bro. They're surface external things. The reason you even lack them in the first place, if you ever asked that, these are causes, bro. Sorry, these are effects. They're doing. Discipline, doing. Consistency, doing. Focusing, doing. If you saw yourself as a true fucking G, as a true winner, as a man who fucking respects himself, loves himself, believes in himself, discipline, consistency, and focus will become fucking easy, my brother. So easy. So easy. You think it's hard for me to be disciplined, bro? No. You think it's hard for me to be focused? No. You think it's hard for me to be consistent? No. Why? Because it's who I am. I see myself as a fucking winner, I see myself as that fucking guy. I see myself as somebody who deserves everything he gets, right? This is what I'm talking about. It's not enough to just do, bro. It's just not. And here's the thing, yeah? You can just do and take more action. You can do that. You will get in shape. You will make a lot of money. But there's two reasons why it's gonna be bad for you. One is because just doing requires so much force, so much struggle, right? So much pushing. Versus if you step into your higher self, right? You're gonna be operating from pull. You're gonna be operating from flow. You're gonna be operating from effort. I always use this example as well, right? Effort is natural, struggle is not. Second point, you can push your way to your goals, you can grind your way to your goals, you can struggle your way to your goals. But when you get there, you're gonna be left feeling very unfulfilled, very empty, very sad. I know people that use shame to achieve their goals. They pushed their whole way to their goal using shame. They got to their goal, they still felt shame, bro. Motherfucker, imagine being a man operating out of shame. You lost, bro. You fucking lost. These concepts I'm sharing with you brothers, yeah? Like I said, only the real ones are gonna resonate with what I'm saying. Only the, the real ones who actually want to level up are gonna watch this content and go, you know what, yeah? This is what I needed. This is the answer. The rest of you geeks, which I don't even think you'll be watching this far, they're gonna go, nah, 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 it's, it's, it's the tactics, it's the business model. It can't, be the, it can't be this simple, it can't just be changing myself. Yes, it is, brother. Yes, it is, bro. If I look back on my old self, right? The guy who was operating from just doing more. It took me years to have success, years, bro. In the past, I would say just about a year now, I've been heavily, I always was a mindset guy, right? You guys know from this channel, I've always been talking about mindset, but I heavily started diving into the concepts around the beingness, the identity. And I started to go into my unseen, 
and understand the unseen creates the seen. And when I heavily started diving into the unseen and visualizing my life, visualizing my higher self, stepping into that with full emotion as if it's already happening now because it fucking is, my life started to transform rapid. Rapid, bro. Do you understand? I know these things work as well because I look at other people in my space, right? Bro, they talk about the numbers they make. I make near enough the same as them with some of these guys have, you know, 120,000 subscribers, a million plus subscribers, hundreds of thousands on Instagram. I'm making near the same as them, bro. With, at the current time of filming, it's 4,000 Instagram followers and like nearly 3,000 YouTube subscribers, bro. It's not the tactics, brother, I'm telling you. It's because I use my fucking mind, bro. I connect to God. I operate from a different frequency, my bro. So many of you, this will just go over your head. You, you, you won't comprehend what I'm saying to you. You'll be like, it's like you're gonna sit there and go, yeah, that's cool. But all I'm asking, brother, is keep staying tuned to my con content. Apply it into your life, brother. Use the principles I'm sharing about visualizing, using your mind, stepping into your higher self now. Most people are waiting to get somewhere to feel like that guy. Every, at the end of every experience is an emotion, my bro. So this is going back to the point I said, you can go out there and push your way and grind your way to your goals, or you can realize that at the end of every experience is an emotion. You wanna make more money, well how will you feel when you make that money, bro? You're gonna feel proud, you're gonna feel respect, you're gonna feel confident. So that insinuates, right? That if you don't have the money now, then you're going to be operating from somebody who's not confident, who's not proud, who doesn't respect themselves. So who's going to go out there and take the biggest action? The guy who's like, man, when I get money, then I'll feel confident versus the guys, I'm fucking G, bro. Let's go and make this money. The fuck are we doing? I'm confident. I deserve this money. Let's go. That guy every single fucking time, bro. Guarantee you. I guarantee you. Who do you think is going to go out there? If you started from zero, me now... Right? Or the old version of me. Forget all the information. I'm talking about who I am as an individual, bro. Me every single time versus my old self. And it's not because I look at my Stripe account or I look at my physique and I go, oh yeah, no. It's because of how I see myself. That's how I got this stuff. Cause and effect. The easy way to do this, guys, is to step into the feeling of that motherfucker right now. How does your future self feel? Be that guy, bro. Discipline the feeling. The harder way, oh, I've got to do work today, man. Oh, fuck, you know, I've got to do that. Oh, when I get there, oh, fuck, I'm going to prove the haters wrong. Oh, yeah, man, I'm going to post it. Weak, bro. Weak men operate from desire. I said this before. Weak men operate out of desire, man. Because deep down, they don't love themselves, G. They need something external to validate them as a man, bro, because they can't validate themselves through their actions and how they feel about themselves, brother. These are the same men that will escape devices like porn and weed and alcohol. Do you understand? Because they're numbing it. They're numbing their pain. Maybe they even escape to making more money, bro. So I'm telling you, nothing external validates you, bro. I know a lot of these guys you probably watch. I've met some of them in person, bro. Man, they ain't winning, bro. They ain't winning, bro. Yeah, they are externally they're winning, but I don't define that as winning, in my opinion. I was in Dubai once. I remember I was in the fucking Five, five Palms and Five Star Hotel, had my Rolex, bought my Rolex, made the most money I ever made. Still didn't truly fulfill me. I had to go through a lot of these breakthroughs in my life to finally realize that the only true way to feel happy in this life and to truly feel fulfilled, bro, is just to connect with your higher self, man, and remove all of those limitations, those stories, those things that weigh you down, bro. My brother, I, I pray you found this video valuable. I truly believe this is one of my most powerful videos I've made. Straight again, just, just dropping nugget after nugget, value after value. When I make these videos, guys, trust me, this ain't just coming from John Gabb, this is coming from God. This is coming from higher powers, guys. You feel this energy is different, bro. You know it, bro. You know this is a different energy that comes out of my fucking videos, guys. I'm not using scripts. I'm not planning it out beforehand. I'm just coming straight from the heart, my brother. That's how you know it's pure. 
with one intention to change your life, my bro. That's it. That's it. My brother, God bless you. I pray you found this video valuable. Go and hit me up on Instagram at John Gab. And if you want to level up, real talk, man, go to brotherhood.co. Join a group of brothers on a mission to win. We help you succeed. We help you master your mind, your fitness, and your fucking business. God bless. No slacking.